Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Um, so I realise I'm a little bit behind with the whole um, project pan project because um, I am starting February. I'd considered doing it a little while back and I've been binge watching people's project pans for the last sort of couple of weeks. And I thought, hey, why not? There's still time, I can still do it. It's still very achievable. So I thought I'd give it a go. So my project pan is going to be 18 products in 2018. Um, so if you haven't heard of project pan, it's basically where you either try and reach pan on like eyeshadow products or um, like blushes or other powdered products, or um, it's just trying to use certain products up in the time frame you've given yourself. Um, so. I have chosen, there we go, I have chosen 18 products that I want to use up in 2018. Um, so yeah, this is my intro video and I will show you what I plan to use up. So the first thing I plan to use up is the Garnier Micellar Water. It, this is the oil infused one. As you can see there's loads for me to use. Um, I actually did a testing video on this and at the time I actually preferred this over the L'Oreal one I was using um, but after using this oil infused one a lot more I've decided I actually don't like it as much as I originally thought I did. It's quite greasy and considering I have fairly oily skin anyway it's it's just not great. Um, I much prefer uh, the blue lidded one, the green lidded one, or the original pink. So I'm going to try and use up this one this year. Um, I am going to be using washi tape on what ones I can, just to show my progress down. So I will put those on when I've finished um, filming this video. So yeah, this is product one. Product two is completely brand new, and I bought this in my um, Primark haul. It is the Superfood Goji Berry and Almond Sumptuous Face Moisturiser. There it is. It is completely new. I haven't used it, even the plastic case is on there. Um, so I'll just show you what it looks like at the minute. It's what it looks like, completely new. Um, so yeah, that one I'm going to try and use up. Um, I'm not doing this for any particular reason other than to clear out some of my makeup and my beauty um, products so that I can sort of buy new ones that I'd like a lot more or just to make sure that I'm actually using them because some of the ones in here are quite old um, so I do want to try and use them up and you know replace them with newer stuff. Um, the next product is an Avon Colour Trend lipstick in Pink Holiday. And I've had this for honestly so long. I can't actually remember how long I've had it for. Um, so this is how much is left. There's not that much in it, I have to be honest. Um, but I tried to pick products that, like I said, I wanted to use up and that were fairly doable. Um, so yeah, this is uh, product number three. Uh, product number four is the New Look Refresh and Prep Setting skin in energizer spray so as you can see you can see how much i've used i bought this a little while back not that long ago actually i bought it a little while back and um i need to get more into using setting sprays and um yeah you know yeah so i need to get more into using um refreshing and prepping sprays and all things like that so this one is one i'm gonna start using and hopefully finish this year. Like I said, I've only got 10 months left now, um, so I have tried to pick products that I know are gonna be fairly doable to use. Uh, the next product is an Avon perfume. It's the Avon Femme perfume. It smells lovely. Um, it smells really fresh and nice. It's just a product that I've had a really long time and would like to try and use up. So as I said, I'm going to put washi tape on the ones that you can see, so you can see how much I'm using up. Um, the next product is a Rimmel London Wake Me Up Concealer. And I've had this concealer for 
quite a while. It is the right colour for my skin tone, um, maybe a little dark. Um, this is in soft beige. Um, but I much prefer the... What, what is it? I much prefer the yeah Collection Lasting Perfection Concealers. So because of that, I want to try and use up this one so that I can just get rid of it and continue to buy the one I like. Um, the next item is this eyeshadow palette. It's a Runway Glamour one, and I got this in my glossy box, I believe. And I don't want to try and get rid of it or anything, but I would like to try and hit pan on at least two colours. Um, yeah, on at least two colours um, in these ten months. So I don't want to use this up completely, I just want to try and hit pan on at least two. Um, the next one is also an, off, um, an eyeshadow palette, it's the After Party one, and I also bought this in my Primark haul. And I would like to hit pan on at least five of these colours this year. So we shall see how we get on with that. Um, I am going to be using other products as well, not just the ones that are in this box. Um, but yeah, these are the ones I'm going to try and use up or hit pan on. Um, the next product are three that I'm going to count as one um, because there's not much left in them. They are the... Have I got that? There we go. They are the Brimmel BB Creams. I've got the Skin Perfecting one, the Matte one, and the Radiance one. And as you can see, there aren't that very much left in these. I think this is probably the fullest one. And I used to use these all the time, religiously I used to use these because they were just so quick and easy. I'd smooth it on with my fingers and I was ready to go. And I do love them, um, but I am sticking more with... Um, my Rimmel Match Perfection foundation at the minute. Um, so I want to get these used up. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, so I want to get these ones used up and out of my collection. And yeah, so I'm counting these three as one product because there isn't much left. So there's those. Um, I want to use up this cheapy Poundland eye eyeliner. There's nothing wrong with it, it's, it's a decent eyeliner, I have it on today, um, along my waterline. Um, but there are other eyeliners out there that I much prefer, um, I love the Miss Sporty ones. Um, so yeah, it's just a case of trying to use this one up. We'll see how I get on with that. I wear eyeliner every day, so it should be pretty achievable, but there's a lot of product in that. So we shall see. Uh, the next one is this Avon Colour True Foundation. Um, true colour foundation. It's flawless liquid and it's in the shade Ivory. And while this is a lovely foundation, it's actually maybe a shade too dark for me. So that you might not see a lot of um, a lot of product go in the next sort of couple of months. But once the weather starts to get a bit nicer and a bit warmer, you'll definitely see this one go down. I mean, at the minute, I think it's there. Um, so I will put some washi tape on that so we can see how we get on with that one. Um, the next product is the Rimmel London Stay Matte um, Long Lasting Pressed Powder. And this is in the shade Silky Beige. And I, I haven't used this for a little while, but once the weather starts to get warmer, I will be using this um, to sort of, you know, set my face in my T-zone and other areas that might get a bit moist. <laughs> in the um in the summer months. Um so I have used this product. Um but I'm nowhere near hitting pan. You can still sort of see the outline of the pattern that was on there before I started using it. So yeah, there's another Rimmel product to use up. Um the <laughs> I don't know why I'm, I'm so out of breath. I think I'm just tired. I haven't, I haven't really done very much today and I'm talking a lot so blah blah blah. Um, the next product is this um, tiny hula um, sample by Benefit, and I got this in my birch box, I believe, and it's completely brand new. I haven't used it, but I want to try and use this up, um, try and use it up, or at least hit pan on it. But even though it's a tiny, 
tiny product, there is there is a lot of formula in there. So I am hoping to hit pan on that. We shall, we shall see. And um, the next thing is from my Primark haul again. Again, this is from the Primark haul I did, and this is the um, Perform Hydrate and Recover Primer. And I have a few primers that I want to get onto using, and this one is nice. I've enjoyed using it, but I just want to use it up so I can get on with some of my other ones as well. So there's that one. Uh, the next thing I want to try and use up is the Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in the shade Golden Lights. And when I first bought this, I really, really liked it. And as you can see, I haven't made much of a dent with that. I really, really liked it, and I thought, oh, this is, you know, possibly my favourite highlighter. And then I sort of looked about a bit more, you know, started trying sort of different highlighters and things, and I've found out that I much prefer sort of pinkier shades. Um, so this sort of whitey one isn't something I quite, you know, you know whitey gold one isn't really something I'm quite, you know taken with anymore so I'm gonna try and hit pan with this as much as possible but it is a big product you get a lot in there so it's gonna be a mission I think to use this one up but we'll see how I get on and um, the next product is so old like the words have nearly rubbed off of it it's an Avon glow bronzer palette Um, you as you can see I haven't particularly used it I mean I don't know if you can you can see the pattern yeah, it's like a little sun pattern on there, and it's still there. And, yeah, it's just a bronzing powder that I want to try and use up that I've had for a really long time. Um, the next product is a blusher that I was given um, by a very special friend of mine. And it's in the shade Tango Pink, and it's a pure radiance blusher powder. And it looks like this. It's a really, really nice pinky colour, but it is a very dark pink. So I do want to try and use it up because I don't tend to use blushes. Um, I tend to use my highlighters and things like that. So, yeah, this is another product I want to try and use up. But, again, that's pretty much brand new. And the last product, and there are four of them, but as they're tiny, um, I'm counting them as one. They are just four little um perfume samples the first one is roberto cavilli and i'm not sure what the name of that one is um but dre's mum works in um debenhams and she gets a lot of sort of samples and things off their perfume counters and she always put the, puts them in with um presents and things which is quite nice uh, the next two are the Zadig and Voltaire, this is her little samples. And the final one is Honey by Marc Jacobs. Now I have this one in a slightly larger bottle. Um, so I'm going to try and use up the sample. And then, yeah. So they are my 18 items for 2018. Fingers crossed we can hit pan or even use some of these up. Um, I am going to do an update each month to let you know how I'm getting on. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll do an update every month to let you know how I'm getting on, so you can see what's going on. I will try and do it at the end of each month. Um, so I've had a good month to sort of try and use things up. Um, so I won't do an update now until the end of March. Um, so that gives me sort of like a month and a bit to make a bit of a dent and some progress. But... Yeah, I will see you for this video, part two, at the end of March, and we will see how I get on. So I will see you guys very soon. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to make sure you don't miss out on the Project Pan 18 in 2018 updates. And yeah, I will see you all very soon. Take care. Bye!